What's up guys? You've probably seen this wavy stacked text design in various type of SVGs and on t-shirts. And today I'm going to show you how you can make this directly in Cricut Design Space if you don't have a graphic design program to use. So let's get started. So we are going to head over to our text function here. And I'm using a font called Keep On Trucking. This is a downloaded font from the font that I will link in the description down below. And you can find this under your systems tab once you have downloaded it and rebooted your program. Now, once you've chosen the word, the words that you want to use, we're going to use the warp function. So as you can see here, there are all different types of little waves that uh, Cricut Design Space can do. And you'll notice they do have this type of wave here, or if I click on that, you'll see it actually bend the word. So if you wanted to do something with just this kind of a bend, then by all means, you can use number 15 here for that. And while you're in here, you can also adjust how curvy you want it. So if you wanted it more dramatic, you could go all the way to 100. But you'll notice with this effect that it's just a, it's just a small wave um, and you can't really go beyond this, this wave here, which kind of looks a little funky. It's not what I'm looking for in terms of a wave design for us. So we're going to start over. And in this case, what I'm going to do is actually split the word in half. So I'm going to grab three of the letters and I'm going to warp it again. But this time I'm actually going to select number nine. And so this one, it's a flat top and then a little curve underneath. So let's try that. And then I'm going to grab the last three letters of the word and I'm going to warp it again. But this time, instead of using number nine, I am going to use number 10. And this has the opposite effect. So now I have a level design where it is flat at the top and I have this wave, wave top. And now this word is wavy just on the bottom. For the next line, I'm going to write the word again. And this is where we want to use that wave that we used in the first one. So I'm going to select that one again and I'm going to move it up and I'm going to play with the setting now to give it a better wave. And you can see it's not quite a perfect fit. So I'm actually going to make some adjustments to my top um, half of the word here. to give it a slightly less dramatic curve. And then for the bottom, we are going to be doing the reverse. So for the first half of the word, we are going to use number, number eight. And the second half of the word, we are going to use number seven. And one quick thing I'm going to do is just align bottom to make sure they're level and align top with the top two pieces of text. 
and just to make sure everything's level. Let's just group these. To use this feature, it does tell you you'll need Cricut Access to use it, but it still lets you design with it. So one way around that is you can actually remove the grid lines. So if you press up here, this is one of my Cricut tips and tricks that I show you in this video over here. If you remove the grid lines, you can actually take a screenshot and then you can upload that image into Cricut Design Space and then start crafting it from there. So that is one way around it if you didn't have Cricut access. And this is by no means perfect. You can see it's not exactly the easiest to do, but you can create this effect right in Cricut Design Space without having to use any other additional program, which I think is awesome because sometimes when we're designing, it's just easier to do it in Cricut Design Space. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.